Now in the last video I showed you a very expensive mail order detective puzzle series. Now this one's going to be a way cheaper version of it, and, but it's totally different. There really are only two different types of detective series out there. Well, there is a third, but that's kind of rare that I, from what I've found, and we'll talk about that one in the fourth video. Now, this gives you a bunch of clues that you have to follow, and it'll let you solve one part of the mystery. And then from there, it says, wow, well, wait another month, and you get more of the clues, and that adds on to the mystery until you figure out and solve the thing. Now, I'm sure a few of you out there have already heard of a similar service called Hunt a Killer. In fact, from what I could see, it's eerily similar. However, I was Googling that to see if it was worth trying, and I saw a bunch of people not liking it. So I wanted to see if there might have been an alternative, and there is. I found five or six mail to you detective services that did pretty much the same exact thing. In the end, I decided to go with Dispatch because they're run by an escape room company, and I figured they know how to make good puzzles. Now, I've never gone to an escape room before. I prefer to take my time, and the timer they put on you isn't something I would enjoy. I played a home board game version of an escape room called Escape Room in a Box Flashback and that was just awful. Please don't buy it. So I had a little bit more faith in this company since they have a history with puzzles. And overall, it wasn't bad, just it didn't take long. In fact, if I didn't have the issues with the wrong items in my box, it wouldn't have taken that long to beat this box at all. Maybe less than an hour. But more on that in a second. Now, it was kind of interesting. The best thing I liked about this particular first box was the journal. I mean, it was very, there was a lot in here to read. That's basically the backstory of this entire thing, told in like the way of a journal. It takes about 30 to 40 minutes to finish this, or at least that part of the story. Because again, this takes place over many months. You're only solving little pieces of it. It ended up taking me days to finish this, and I was getting really frustrated. I figured I was missing some critical clue, and I was just like an idiot. So I went to their chat room to ask questions and get help. People kept giving me hints that made no sense. I knew there had to be something I was missing, so I scanned in the thing they were talking about and let them see my evidence so they could show me where I was missing the clue. When it all came out that I was actually sent the wrong evidence. This was a critical piece of evidence. And if you don't have it, you just can't beat the first box. It was replaced with a very similar piece of evidence. After that came out, two more people admitted they also got the same wrong evidence. I told the company and they admitted that they accidentally sent me a promo piece of evidence, which I assumed they gave out to people to go to their website. Because if you go to the website that you see now, all the links will just take you to the dispatch website. Feel free to check it out after this video of course. This isn't the first time that I've heard of this company missing evidence before. Amazon sells the full boxes and there's a review on there that says that they're missing a part. They do give you a list that tells you everything that's in there but it didn't help me because I had the right item it was just the wrong thing on it. In addition to the physical clues that you have on hand you're gonna need to look through the web for dispatch made websites to help you figure out the mystery. They are easy enough to find and if you google certain things you can accidentally see the answers to some of the the puzzles. There are four different cases for you to choose from. They show you on each one how many boxes you're going to need to solve it, which was nice. There's also a kid's version of this if you want to give a young child the chance to play detective. However, don't expect any murders in that one, just a theft of a coin. Dispatch. Now for the price, I'm going to give it four and a half stars. Now, if it sounds like I'm being a little hesitant on that score, it's because in the time writing this and the time recording this, they actually changed their pricing and they actually took away a free trial box. They used to have a $12.99, $199 program, and now that's gone. At that price, I would have given it five stars. Now it's a nine months, $179 price, or an 18 months, $299 price, and that's not as great. Now quality, I'm gonna give it four stars. This had a combination of paper clues and more tangible physical ones. Overall, the different items that you receive feel like it could have existed in the real world. Now, enjoyment, I'm going to give it three stars. It is a little unfair on this one as it takes place over many months and there isn't a ton of content to keep you entertained. But if you buy this in one big bulk, I'm sure it's way more entertaining. And you can do that. But as a monthly thing, I can see people wanting more. Now, overall, I would give this three and a half stars. The lack of content really took the score down. But if there isn't really much to do or if it's done fairly quickly, you might lose interest fast. However, if you're in the mood for a slow burn of a multi-month mystery, this actually might be one worth trying out. 